Okay, I wanted to do a quick video on how to work on the problems on 10-5. These are not hexagons, equilateral triangles, or squares. So all of these problems you will need trigonometry to solve for. Now the video that explained how to do the problems for 10-3 explained how to do these. You're going to use the same triangle, it's just not going to be a special right triangle. So here's what I do. On this one, which is an octagon, it has a side of 8. We're going to use the formula area equals 1 half apothem times perimeter. Perimeter is real easy. 8, 8 will be 64 um, meters. That's going to be the perimeter. But finding the apothem, that's the trick. So I'm going to show you where I solved that problem real quick. On this sheet, these are my answers. I don't draw a whole octagon. All I'm concerned with is this triangle. This is a side of the octagon, 8 meters. When I draw the apothem and the two radii like this, it bisects the side into 4 and 4. In an octagon, remember to find that central angle. It was 360 divided by 8, which is 45 degrees for this whole angle would be 45 degrees. So this portion of the angle, or this portion, whichever side you want to look at, is 22.5 degrees. Now if it's 22.5 degrees, the angle at the bottom down here, which we practiced in 10 Three, getting those answers is 67.5 but I'm just going to use the 22.5 up here see I know the perimeter is going to be 8 times 8 which is 64 meters to find the apothem which is this side from the center perpendicular to one of the sides the apothem I'm going to use the tangent the tangent of 22.5 is 4 over a so the tangent of 22.5 is 4 over a so A is equal to 4 divided by the tangent of 22.5 or 9.7. So there's the apothem. Now I just use the apothem, plug it in the formula. The area is equal to 1 half the apothem, 9.7 meters, times the perimeter, 64 meters. And I got 310.4 meters squared. And that was the answer. Now, number 2, it's a pentagon. It's a pentagon. And they tell me the radius is 6. So again, I'm still drawing the same triangle. It looks like the same triangle. The difference is the measure of the angles. On a pentagon, the central angle up at the top is 72 degrees. So this angle is 36 degrees. All right, since the radius is 6, I have to find the apothem. And I'm going to have to find the side so I can get the perimeter. So first, I'll find the apothem using 36. I can say the cosine of 36 is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. The adjacent A over the hypotenuse 6. And so the apothem comes out to be 4.9. Then to find the length of the side, I need to find this side, x. And then I'm going to double it to get the length of the side and then get the perimeter. Okay, so I use the, this time the sine of 36 is the opposite over the hypotenuse, x over 6. So the sine of 36 times 6 is 3.5. So 3.5 is this portion of the side. So both of them will be 7. And then for this perimeter, it's a pentagon. So 5 times 7 is 35 feet. So the perimeter is 35 feet. The apothem is 4.9 feet. So the area is 1 half of 4.9 feet times 35 feet, the perimeter. And I got 85.75 feet squared. You do the same thing on every problem. The, the things that are going to change are the measure of the angles. Sometimes you'll just get by with tangent, like over here, depending on what they give us. We just used one function to find what was missing. Sometimes you'll have to use sine and cosine to find more portions of the triangle to get the parts of the pentagon you need to solve for the answer. So that's how you solve all of these problems with regular polygons when they're not a hexagon, equilateral triangle, or a square. That's the way you'll solve them. Now another portion of this sheet that was a little bit different were these problems, 12 through 17, but I put a video up there explaining how to do those. It's a simple formula. The area is equal to 1 half A, B, sine C, or whatever it happens to be. These are the two sides, A and B, and this is the angle in between. You could have called it B, C, sine A. It would not matter. It's these two sides and the sine of that angle. And so that's how you solve those. And, and that's a real simple process. Uh, two, let's see if I have one of those worked out. I'll just show you real quick. Well, yeah, I did. Um, number 
12. This is what I did on number 12. I put BC sine A because I think that's the formula that they used. This picture has nothing to do with number 12. So it was 1 half of 6 meters times 4 meters times the sine of 68. Punch all that in your calculator and you get 11.1 .1 meters squared. So those are really simple problems, um, these here. Now the others, like I said, draw the same picture. If you look, this is, I haven't posted these answers yet, but on every one of them I draw basically the same picture. It's just the difference is the angles, the central angle at the top and then the angle in the right triangle, that changes and that's the part that's different. So uh, good luck. I hope this will help you.